When your mother bore you, something inside you was ill-formed. Your breathing was ragged and dry. A tiny, pitiful sound like scraping chalk stones. Folk said you'd never see your first winter. But every night, after your mother's weeping eyes had found refuge in sleep, I held you to the firelight, kept your chin up all night long, seemed to ease the burden a little. And one night, I gazed down on your tiny naked face, and I saw upon it. The great grey beard of an old dwarven king, mighty and terrible as an army with banners. And when your mother woke, I told her she need cry no more. Her son would live, and he would move mountains! How do you expect me to move mountains, father? If you fall to pieces when I dig a single hole. You speak of greatness for me, but you suffocate in me any ambition, any desire, any thought that does not originate in you. The iron that must bear the most heavy of burdens must also endure the most rigorous tempering. Consigning your allies to death is not tempering. Elrond is as much a brother to me as if he'd been fired in my own mother's womb. How dare you? Invoke your mother's memory to defend your decision to betray your own kind! No! It's you that's betrayed our kind! Squandering our future so you can cling to the past! You profane the crown you wear! anymore. 